Today we're going to demonstrate the operation of the electronic controller for the Gilson MD2000 Micro Deval apparatus, which is used to determine the abrasion loss of aggregate in the presence of water in an abrasive charge in accordance with ASTM and AASHTO standards. The electronic controller of the MD2000 allows the test duration to be controlled either by elapsed time or number of jar revolutions. In the time mode, the test will continue until the timer reaches zero. Test jar revolutions are displayed on the counter, but the revolutions counter does not control the test. In the revolutions mode, once the counter is set to a specific number of revolutions, the test will run until the revolutions counter reaches a set point. Elapsed time can be displayed in the revolutions mode, but does not control the test. Once the timer mode or revolution mode is selected, that mode becomes the default method of operation. To change from one operational mode to another, simply disconnect and then reconnect the MD2000 to its power supply. If the desired test operational mode and value is already displayed, the test may be started immediately by pressing the green start button. When the MD2000 first powers up, the user is prompted to select either time or revolution mode. Press A for time mode or press B for revolution mode. In selecting the time mode, the timeline will indicate the set point in whole minutes. To change the set point, press OK and the time value will begin to flash. Adjust the set point using the plus and minus buttons. As the buttons are held down, the rate of change will become faster. Once the desired value is displayed, press OK to save. Now you are ready to begin your test. The next two lines display current test revolutions for the top and bottom jars and is updated every second. Revolutions will reset to zero and begin counting once the start button is pressed. In selecting the revolutions mode, the revolutions or REVS line will indicate the set point for the maximum number of jar revolutions during the test. To change the set point, Press OK and the revolution's value will begin to flash. Adjust the set point using the plus or minus buttons. As the buttons are held down, the rate of change will become faster. Once the desired value is displayed, press OK to save. Now you are ready to begin your test. The next two lines display current test revolutions for the top and bottom jars and is updated every second. To view the revolutions per minute during testing, from either the time mode or the revolution mode screen, press A. RPMs are counted during a full one minute increment and is updated every minute. To view the elapsed time display during testing, press A while the display is in the RPM mode. The elapsed test time is displayed and is updated every second. Pressing the green start button begins counting from zero the jar revolutions counter, the revolutions per minute, the elapsed time values, as well as begins test operation. Pressing the large red stop button will cease rotations. Then pressing the green start button will resume test operations with the time or revolutions remaining. For any questions concerning the Gilson MD2000 Micro Deval apparatus or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.